Yeah, so, yeah, we're doing this, um, <laughs> Mitch, don't know what's he doing. Uh, we're doing this planter project and seat project for town and we were given, myself, we've got six artists and myself and my fellow artists were given the theme of land to work with. So I guess I started with what I knew because I live in Mwollombar so um, just um, well, I'm just always very inspired whenever you drive out of town in just about any direction you get this amazing view of farmland mainly sugarcane and with the beautiful mountains in the background so I um, actually went um, and up to sort of towards Dungi and on, along Cane Road and did a bit of painting just to get in the get prepared <laughs> I guess so um, this scene here is um, is based on yeah the, the view from up close to Dungi and then this um, little grass tree here is actually from the pinnacle at the border ranges. It's, um, it's a little bit shorter, of course, than most grass trees, but that sort of fitted into the composition fairly well. And this section over here, yeah, probably just more from imagination, I guess, but just trying to capture that, um, that idea of the farmland and the mountains. And then, because um, I'm working together with Mitch, who's really fabulous with typography, he's come along and written this word, caldera, which has tied the whole piece together quite well, I think. So, yeah, and then um, I've just continued to work around the um, planter box and I don't know if you can see, probably need to turn it around, yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, just with the ends of this planter box, I've just um, been inspired by the farmland again, obviously, and just um, that idea of how when you look at farmland from above, it can look like a beautiful piece of abstract art. So I've just sort of um, imagined that and tried to capture that idea. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, um, yeah, this side of the planter, um, I feel very proud of. It's actually a collaboration between three of the six artists who are working on the planters. So I've um, painted the background, which is trying to capture that feeling of driving out of Wollumba and seeing the cane fields and the mountains. And we have a fabulous Indigenous artist, Jason King, and he's given us the suggestion to use this word, jargon. He'll probably pronounce it better than me. <laughs> and this is a, a local language word meaning land so and he was explaining that it it's actually more than just land it, the word actually means um land as though it's almost a family member or so, or an ent its own entity that you have a relationship with so it's really a very beautiful word so we're very grateful to him for suggesting it to us and mitch has used his typography skills to paint the word and yeah so we're very happy. Okay, so um, yeah, these are, this is some other, this is a seat that I've done and another planter a lot using the theme of land. So with this one at the back, um, I've just, it's a little bit abstract, I guess, just use quite a few different elements from farming and also from the rainforest. Um, I've got some rainforesty kind of vines and some staghorn, just a bit abstracted though. And also from people's gardens, for example, some of the monstera plant, monsteria. And this is kind of sugar cane, but it could also be bamboo. <laughs> and yeah, and then, yeah, and also, yeah, just maybe, you know, when you go to the coast and you look up, seeing all the trees and with the sky coming through them that kind of thing so and this piece here um yeah my my usual work I often paint in oil oils doing a lot of um wildflowers especially banksias so I've sort of stuck stuck with my regular theme for this seat and I've just depicted a few of the the native flowers that you see around 
the area. So I've got the grevillea, the back, they're all out at the moment, looking beautiful. And coastal banksia and um, calistamine bottle brush. And at the back, I've got some wallum banksia, which this, which aren't that common a banksia, but there's some fabulous trees on, on the coast, on Tweed Valley Way. So yeah, so that's, what's, that's what I've done with this piece. <laughs>